I think it's important that I have your name. A lot of crazy stuff going on. Having your name makes me feel more secure. Jason Tart, what is your date of birth? I'm going to arrest you if you don't give me your name and date of birth. You're going to arrest me if I don't give you my name and date of birth? It's obstructing an officer. How? Because you're hindering me from doing my job. You're hindering How me from doing my job. How am I hindering you from doing your Sir? job if it's not on my property? Two deputies with the McDowell County Sheriff's Office are facing allegations in federal court of racial profile. Deputy Dalton T. Martin and Jordan A. Horn, both Sheriff's Office deputies, are going to be seen in this video. Either one of the deputies had any warrant or probable cause to be at the residence. The incident that you're about to see took place on a neighboring property. Your home and the cartilage around your home is protected under the Fourth Amendment from searches from law enforcement and government. I'll sit here, I'll go up here and collect. We're going to watch as these two deputies pull down the driveway, walk to the back of this property to access an adjacent property where an abandoned church is located. Now the residents have only been living here for two months. This path leading behind the house is well beaten and appears to have well more than two months of foot traffic accessing this back of the property. In addition to that, the plants that he's collecting here appear to be well over two months old. Now I'm not an expert in growth, but you guys can let me know in the comments. As a former law enforcement officer, myself turned civil rights activist, this is the disgusting behavior that law enforcement do. Intimidation, harassment, and all kinds of rights violations. Just a question, my Yeah, well, I get that. And so then my only question to you is your names, just so it's okay in my own heart and mind. And when I say the season we're living in, you know the season yeah. we're living in. Uh, Y'all looking for something over here at his house? What is it? Y'all concerned about something over here at this house? This house? No, that house. Uh, yes. What's the problem? Who lives there? Mr. Ferguson. He's probably there now. He's 79. Okay. All right. What's your name, sir? Jason Tart. Jason Tart. Tart. And what do you mean by the season we're Harrison. living in, ma'am? Uh, sir. What's your, what do you need? <laughs> you got any questions for me? No, I'll just, I'll collect some information from you in a minute. Your name and date of birth and such. What do you need my information for? You, you own these two homes, correct? What okay, these, these, two homes got to do with that these two homes is near that marijuana grow, so I'd just like to have your name. You know how many people go through here? I understand. That's well, not going to do you one bit of good. Okay. Well, sir, I'm, I'm going to need your name and date of birth. And I have that. feel comfortable giving you my name and date of birth. Okay, well, this is a criminal investigation. You own these two homes, so by law, you do have to give me your name and date of birth, sir. If he gives you a reason, yes, you do. Reason for what? Yeah. The I, cause of the marijuana grow. It's not on my property. Okay, well, again. I have reason to believe that these two homes here that you own is related to that marijuana grove. So you have to give me your name and date of birth by law. Go get, a, go get a pen and piece of paper. Reason to believe what? Why? Because these houses are here? Yes, sir, and you own them. May I say something? Right. Do you understand? I, 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 grew, I was born and raised here. Do you understand that there's a lot of traffic going through here? Since yes, we've lived here, people come up here and they park there, and we don't know where the hell they go, and then they come back out. I don't have a problem giving you my information. I'm okay, just well, that's to all I need. But it doesn't have to be an argument. I mean, just give me your name and date of birth, Dave. It's easy. It's not easy. My property has nothing to do with what you found. Okay. Well, we're, we're just making sure of that. That's our job. Berwyn Land Company owns. Okay. Berwyn Land Company owns. Sir, I don't understand why you're being argumentative about giving me a name, not, date of birth. I'm not. It's simple. Well, you scared me. I mean, scared who you. Says that. Who, by asking you a question. Who, who comes up and asks? That's crazy. And it scared you. I'm trying to understand what. It these scared you by me asking you a question. Growing marijuana. And that's a question. <laughs> what does these houses on my property got? Did you find it on my property? It's near your property. Yeah. This deputy is about to chastise this woman again 
For feeling the way she did, I probably would feel the same way too if law enforcement were on my property investigating something on another property and harassing me like this. To say somebody scared you because they asked you a question is ridiculous. That's preposterous. I'm going to give me your name, sir. You know, yeah, wait, wait. First name. It's ridiculous to you, sir. Yes, ma'am. But it's not ridiculous to <laughs> Your first name. You. I'm not giving you my information. Uh, sir, if you refuse to give me your information, I'm going to arrest you. That's why. My property has nothing to do with any marijuana whatsoever. Jason Tart, what is your date of birth? I'm going to arrest you if you don't give me your name and date of birth. You're going to arrest me if I don't give you my name and date of birth? It's obstructing an officer. How? Because you're hindering me from doing my job. You're hindering How me am from I hindering you from doing your sir. job if it's not on my property? Last chance to give me your name and date of birth, sir. How am I hindering last, you? Sir, last chance to give me your name and date of birth. How am I hindering you? Place your hands behind your back. Place your hands behind your back. Are you going to give me a name and date of birth? Take me to jail. You're right. I'm hindering you from doing your job. Please. I'll see if I can find you my name first. No, I'm hindering you this from doing your job. Really going out off the yeah, field. this is how you guys. This is bad. This is a, 112 control. This is, this is how you operate. This, this is a wrap. This is I'm fine. hindering you from fine. doing your job. Y'all need, need, need to go inside. What's going on? You two need to go inside. You scared her. In this you call, again, you two call. go inside. Yeah, go inside. I'm, I'm afraid. Go now. inside. I can't, I go inside. No, go inside as of right now. Tell me why. Go inside. What are you doing? Step off the porch. Step off the porch. I'll step off. Go the inside. What are you doing? This is unnecessary for Sir, you to be doing. Sir, go inside. It. He's standing on his own court. Go inside. Don't come in my hand. Go inside. Step back. Go inside. Look, Thank you. Yeah, that, that's completely uncalled for. Come on. Look, Walk. man. Don't, don't, Walk. don't, don't, Walk. don't. Listen, listen. Stop. You don't have to. Listen, You're man. You're being recorded. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. This is walk. This. Listen, walk. listen, walk. listen, walk. listen, walk. listen. Walk. I can walk. I can walk without you putting your damn hands on me. You understand? I have not broken the law. Walk to the vehicle. All. Well, walk to the Don't vehicle, sir. You're being recorded. Hands on me. I give sir. you no reason to touch me. I'm going to arrest you then. Place your hands behind your back. He owns two properties right here on this Baptist Drive road after you pass the second concrete bridge on the right. Um, we located a marijuana grow probably not 100 foot, 50 foot from this last property of his and he just won't give us his name date of birth. And for his male, white male, black man. Black male. That's one of the most awkward questions I've ever heard of you. Really. I put a link in the description for the civil rights lawyer who broke this story and is taking the case. As you can see, the sheriff is also named in this lawsuit as well as the commissioners.